Hello everyone and welcome to The Dental Surgery, your home for dentistry. Today we're going to show you how to floss your teeth. This is just a demonstration, it's not a substitute for a clinical demonstration in your own mouth. Everyone's mouth is different, so we're just going to show you the basics. We've got Chloe here and we're going to be running through flossing today. So Chloe, do you floss your teeth? I do, uh, about three times a week. Great, great. And why do you do it? Um, just to help get rid of the food in between my teeth sometimes. Okay, and do you find yeah. it easy enough to do? It's not too bad, it's just sometimes I struggle with my, my molars sometimes. Okay, well let me watch you do it and I'll see if I can make it any easier for you. Alright, okay. Okay, yeah, I can see why you're finding that a bit tricky. Do you want me to show you what you should do? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, you're flossing your teeth to remove food. Yeah. You are definitely. But it's also to remove plaque bacteria between your teeth. Okay. If it's left there, it leads to gum disease and decay. So what you want to do, first thing first, you've got too much floss out. Okay. So just get yourself, I'll show you this. So you just go from about here to here. That's a good length. Okay. And then what you want to do is use your middle fingers. You wrap that floss around the middle fingers. Use your index finger and your thumb. Okay. For your top teeth, thumbs, upper, lower teeth, there's index fingers like that. And only use a small bit at a time. You use quite a bit, bit and you went in between two teeth at a time. You want one tooth at a time. You go slowly in the space, then you go up to the gum, you curve it around the tooth, up and down a few times, and then repeat, and then follow all around. Okay. I think the reason you find it difficult to do your backs is because you're trying to work with too much floss and you're okay. wrapping it around the index fingers. So if you give it a go like that, and not too much floss as well, so you're not tying your fingers together. Okay. <laughs> And curve right up under the gum. Yep, and then up and down. That's great. Try and do one of your back ones now. Okay. That's it. So if you use the thumbs to stretch back in either side. And out. Yeah, great. Much easier. So if you're getting bleeding from your gums, you're only flossing three times a week is not enough. You need to really be aiming to floss every day. Plaque and food bacteria live between the teeth. It needs to be removed, ideally before brushing of an evening. If not, it can induce inflammation and you can get gingivitis and gum disease. If you're flossing and you find that the gums are bleeding, don't be put off. Just keep flossing, do it regularly and you will see after a few days that bleeding will reduce and eventually will stop. You might need a cleaning from your hygienist for it to stop completely if there's tartar buildup there. So learning to floss your teeth can initially be quite tricky. A little bit fiddly and time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy to do and it's gonna save you gum disease and cavities between your teeth. There's different things you can use. You don't have to use the string floss. You've got floss on long handles, mini handles, and little brushes as well, okay? You will find something that you can use. You want something that's effective and easy to do, so you can do it daily. Your dental hygienist will demonstrate any of this for you and show you exactly what to do. So give it a go. If you have trouble, come and see us. We hope this has brought you closer to your tedious smile. If you have any questions at all about your daily routine, just drop us an email on the link below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again later.